Hi guys, this is going to be the flower coaster that I designed to go with the set, uh, the doily that I had a tutorial for. And I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little flower coaster to go with it. I have a one here that I just got to making. So those of you that might just be watching this video and don't know what I'm talking about when I say the doily, this is the doily. And uh, I make matching coasters to go with it. And I'm going to be showing you how to make the coasters this time. All you are going to need is two different colors and a size 3.5 millimeter hook or a size E hook for the US and a pair of scissors and some time. First off, I'm going to show you how to make the center of the flower. And if you've made a crochet flower purse, the center is made just like it. So grab your first main color that you want to use and make your loop, your slip knot. And you want to start off by chaining five. Chain five and slip stitch in the beginning chain and chain one. Let me get a little closer here. Now you're going to want to be working in the ring and you're going to want to do 17 double crochets into that ring. It's one, two, three, and I'll just meet you back here when you get done with the 17. Okay, I got my 17 double crochets, and you're going to want to slip stitch into the very first stitch, chain one, and cut your yarn. And that's the center. Then switch colors. I'm going to be using red just because I'm a room. Just because I think it's going to show up good on camera, hopefully. Make your slip knot again. And I like to um, start to the left of my tail because I like to work in my tails as I go along. So I'm going to slip stitch my new color right into that spot. Grab my tail here. Okay, now what you want to do is chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now you want to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And this is a bit, the color I think is a bit dark. Okay, I think you can see this color better. Okay, in the third chain from the hook. So you've got one, two, three. In this third chain, you're going to want to do a double crochet. And then the next chain, you want to do a half double crochet, which is just almost just like a double crochet, except you go through all three loops. Now the next chain, you want to do a single crochet. And then the very last chain, you're going to want to slip stitch. And now you want to slip stitch in the next stitch, the stitch right here. So go through there, pull up some yarn, and there you go, slip stitch. Now you want to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, you want to go in the one, two, third chain from the hook and double crochet. And then the next stitch, you want to do a half double crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. Then the last stitch, you want to do a slip stitch. And then 
next stitch on the circle here, do a slip stitch. And then again, do chain six. And then you keep repeating it. Third chain from the hook, you do a double crochet. Next stitch, do a half double crochet. Next stitch, you do a single crochet. Last stitch, you do a slip stitch. And then you do a slip stitch again in the next stitch, which will bring you to the next stitch so you can do the chain. And you continue to do that all the way around. And in the end, you'll have 17 petals. Okay, I just got done with my last petal. And I want to slip stitch into this first space where I began. So just slip stitch into that beginning space and then chain one and then you can cut your yarn. Then I work my tail into the back stitches. I usually don't like to work my tails in more than three times into the back and kind of pull it and then change colors to your original color and I'll show you how to make it a coaster this can be done with pretty much any flower and if you want your your coasters to be bigger you can just I chain six you can chain you know seven eight nine and then just reduce it you know maybe do two double crochets two half double crochets two single crochets one slip stitch and slip stitch into the next it just depends on how big you want your coasters to be anyway once you got your flower and your petals to turn it to a coaster you just want to go in see if I can bring it up here see each one has you know space in between the stitches and the very top space here where you skipped two chains there's a space there that's the space I use to slip stitch and to uh, yeah, because you're going to be slip stitching the whole way, so I slip stitch in that space on each of the petals. So you want to slip stitch there and chain three. Then you get your next petal, go in through that space. Since I have a tail here, I'm just going to grab it. Just slip stitch into that space. You're just going to be chaining three and slip stitching into the next petal. Chain three and slip stitch into that top space there. Continue all the way around. And when I get to my last space here, I just slip stitch. I'll chain three and slip stitch into that same place I began. Just like that. And then this is my chain three, and this is where I began. I usually slip stitch into that beginning chain three just slip stitch and chain one and I cut my yarn then I'll turn it around and this is where my original tail is I should go through that chain three space and then I'll hide it behind The original stitch there where I hit it. I just like to put it through one of the chain three spaces just so it didn't have this loose one. You can do it for this one as well just to kind of bring it and hide your tails. And there you go. That's how you make the flower doily. Another thing I wanted to show you is I've been you were making the um, doily here. I was feeding my tails through the top and it shows. So what I did is I started getting my tails and feeding it through the back like this. 
so when you flip it over you don't see it and you don't see it through here either so just a tip if you're making a set like this well there you go that's the tutorial to make the flower coaster I hope this was helpful and if you like this video please please like this video and subscribe and share it and it helps me so much thanks for watching